these incredibly stunning landscapes. I hear Anthony Mello tell that story and I, I think about all these people on this bus going along and Anthony Mello's just sitting there and he has his blind up and he is just wowed. He doesn't even notice the people arguing <laughs> about who's the most important person. He's just sitting there looking out at these beautiful landscapes. And <laughs> Hey, it's Alan here. I want to talk about Anthony DeMello. Stop fixing yourself. In this book, it's really interesting. In this book, he talks about you're living in a nightmare. You're in a nightmare. So you're asleep, you're in bed, and you're having a nightmare. But a nightmare feels real. The nightmare feels really, really, really real. And I think we've all had this situation where we're in a nightmare, and a nightmare feels really, really, really real. It's going to say weird because I do have some very, very weird dreams. Now, Anthony Mello says, hey, your life, your life is a nightmare. Wake up, wake up from the nightmare. You can wake up. And I read this, I read this and I'm like, yeah, I know. I know because I've lived the nightmare from time to time. Worrying about things that aren't happening. <laughs> aren't happening. Aren't happening. Is the economy going to change? We don't know. But right now that's not happening. <laughs> Is there going to be a recession? Is there going to be a depression? Are we all going to lose our jobs? I don't know, but that hasn't happened. That is, doesn't exist. That's not a thing right now. Are my kids going to be okay? What sort of world are my kids growing up in? I don't know, but the world they're in right now is okay. It's okay to have a good life, to have a good family. That's the truth. That's the truth. Not the all the worries and, and cares and in our head, so I'm listening to Anthony Lamello and he's saying, wake up, wake up, you're in a nightmare. I'm like, I know, I know, Anthony, can you help me? Can you help me with this? Because I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I know. We, on some level, we know that's correct. But we also, <laughs> but we also, you, sometimes we're just going to bed and they, these thoughts come into our heads. We can't control our thoughts. Thought flows in. So, yeah, I know some people say you meditate on that, so you let the thought flow in. You don't fight the thought. You say, oh, that's interesting, there's a thought there. Then you let it flow out again. And get to the point where you're not dealing with all these thoughts coming into your head, which is difficult, it's difficult. Anthony Mello tells the great story about all the people on the bus. So lots of people on a bus, and the bus is going through, the bus has all these people on it, and the way the it's going through the most beautiful, stunning... I don't know if this is in this book, but this is a Dante de Mello story. I didn't hear this before. The book, the bus is going through the most beautiful landscapes. Now, when I, when I hear that, I think about... I'm Irish. So when I hear that, I think about Glendalough, the Glendalough Lakes. I think about the Cliffs of Moher. I think about the Giant's Causeway. The most incredibly, beautifully stunning stunning landscapes in the world you see them and you can stand there and stare at these landscapes and allow yourself to come into the moment and watch these landscapes and feel the feeling that's coming off these landscapes into your body it's absolutely beautiful but he says these people are on this bus and they're going through this area of the most beautiful landscapes stunning landscapes and they have the blinds pulled down they have the blinds pulled down. And instead of looking at what they should be looking at, the beautiful, incredible landscapes, instead of being in the moment, they're all fighting about who has the best seat on the bus or who has the best clothes, who's wearing the best clothes on the bus or who's the you know, most important person on the bus. They're fighting about that and they're missing these incredibly stunning landscapes. I hear Anthony Mello tell that story and I, I think about all these people on this bus going along and Anthony Mello's just sitting there and he has his blind up and he is just wowed. He doesn't even notice the people arguing <laughs> about who's the most important person. He's just sitting there looking out at these beautiful landscapes and enjoying the moment. And everyone else he talks about is fighting <laughs> about who's the most important person, who has the best seat, blah, 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 on the bus. So he says, wake up, you're living in a nightmare. And a nightmare is, who is the most important person? Are we a celebrity? Who's the most important person here? Who's the, who's the richest person? Who has the nicest car? Who's the biggest house? We're worrying about those things and we're missing the present moment where all the beauty is, where all of the stunning, beautiful landscape. I'm, we're coming to spring here in Ireland right now. 
and you can see the bur- all the birds are coming back from Africa or wherever they go in the winter. <laughs> They're all coming back and start making their nests. The buds on the trees are starting to... You know, there is a certain beauty of a tree that's lost all its leaves. And you see all of the trees here in Ireland and they are just beginning to grow like the spring. And it feels incredibly good. It feels incredibly good. But you know what Anthony DeMello is saying because both of those people, whether it's the Anthony DeMello guy sitting down, looking out, looking out at the beautiful, beautiful landscapes or the crazy people who are have all the blinds pulled down and are fighting over who's the most important person, who's the richest person, who's the best seat on the bus, blah, blah. I think when I read that and when I think about that, I know I've been both those people at times. <laughs> I've been both those people. And unfortunately to say, I'm probably more <laughs> to my people who are fighting over the stupid things most of the time. But it's an interesting concept, an interesting concept. How do we move? How do we move from being the mad people who are fighting about who's the most important person on the bus to the spiritual Anthony Mello guy who's in the moment and is noticing the incredible, beautiful landscapes and how that makes him feel right now in the moment. This has been Alan here. I want to talk about Anthony Mello's concept of you're living in a nightmare. Wake up. <laughs>